Hi, welcome back to Off the Couch Hobbyists. So today we're gonna do a hive check. We like to do hive checks about every two weeks, looking to see if we still have a laying queen and how our um, comb out is doing or how the bees are working to see if it's time to put on the supers. So welcome and enjoy our video. All right, so we use a smoker. What it does is it gets the bees thinking there's a fire and they gorge themselves on honey and it kind of makes them punch drunk or turkey drunk and they're a little less aggressive. Still aggressive, but a little less. So I'm puffing the smoke away from them on them. And now we're gonna pull out some frames looking for eggs and making sure they're laying a lot of babies and making sure they're combing out their frames well. So that's a good pattern. See that, Kathy? I do, and why is it brown? That's brown because it's just capped with the wax over the larvae. Oh, so that's not honey? Nope, that is not honey. Those are all babies. There's a little honey right there on that corner I was pointing out right there. Oh, see, so it's a lighter. Yeah, it's more golden color. It's more golden color. And there you can see all the bees all around, at all different stages. You have little eggs, can't quite see in those dark little, there you go, little eggs in there, little larvae, and then at a certain time, they cap the larvae with a, a wax cap on there, and then the babies will chew their ways out. Then that's the larvae right there, little white little worms. Oh, that's a good picture that is a that. good shot. Kathy was taking good shots. But at a certain age, then they cap it to finish their uh, maturity. So that's a good sign. That means you have a laying queen. We have a laying queen. And so I'm going to take out one frame, set it on my little frame holder, and check another one. I would like to see more eggs. If you have eggs, you know that you had a queen between one to four days ago. So there again, it's a good pattern. There's some honey on the outside, but the main center is babies. So we'll get try to get you up close. There we go. Now in there... Look at all the bees that are just jazzing around in there. Um, and good drones. So the drone eggs, you can tell they're drones because they stick out further than the rest of them. You need to have a certain amount of drones. So my hives are doing really well. I'm going to put a super on. Supers are 6 inches. Deeps are 10. Those are super frames. Those are just going to have honey on them. That's the honey that I am then going to pull to the fall and give to my lovely uh, relatives. So now I put the top back on and I'm moving over to my yellow hive. Let's see what that's doing. Puff, puff, puff. I put a little weight on the top just in case the wind blows. Do you think it helps keep critters out, raccoons and things? I think if they really tried hard enough, they could flip that off. Even, it's, even though it's so heavy? I think so. Those little raccoons are like Schwarzenegger animals. They are. So not as many bees on this Not one. as many bees on top. It was a hot day, so maybe a lot of them were out. So let's go ahead and get that frame out yep. and see what it's doing. Perfect. We got our gear on because we would just get stung to death. Look, there's a lot. Look at that dark oh, brown. Yeah, there are more bees on the That's frame. a lot of capped brood. And down at the bottom you can see the uh, droid, droid, the um, drone brood. <laughs> the boys. So that's a but lot a of droid? babies. A droid. Is that like a mechanical bee? It, it is a, <laughs> it's a mechanical bee. So those babies, when they hatch, I'm going to be able to multiply my population of bees suddenly. So I'm going to go ahead and put a super on so that when those bees hatch, they can start working and giving me honey. Those are more established hives. So they do thing at a little, things at a little faster pace. I put those little spacers on top. Tim made those for me. We like to have a airflow, Kathy. Remember that? Right. And that kind of keeps the condensation and stuff out. Exactly. So let's take a moment of peace. Okay, so here we are in my backyard. Here's my hive. Nice. Get all the cinder blocks off. Yep. Now, I had a bee mentor, 
His name's Mike, and he always put that piece of corrugated tin on top of his right. hive. So yep. I always put a piece Go. of corrugated tin. Exactly. On mine. That's what your teacher does. That's what you do. We also gave her some of the spacers from Tim as well. Now my hive is not as established as Karen. It had to start brand new. So it needs to comb out. So we need to get wax built on the frames so that they can be filled with honey and or with babies. Babies. Yes, little baby bees. And here we go, we're gonna pull out this first frame. Here we go. With any luck, we're gonna see some brood on there. And there we go, look at that lovely, lovely brown. That's all capped brood. So again, it's that, that same pattern that Karen was talking about. They kind of start in the middle. And then put the and honey on the outside. Put the honey on the outside. So. Looking, we're looking for eggs. That's what we're looking for. We want to see if we have a queen that's laid within the last one to four days. And it's really There's, hard to see. They're so tiny. Right. And then you'll see the bees that are attendants for those uh, babies. The so nurse bees. We did see. We saw a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs, and um, hopefully that will mean the numbers will right. we increase, want to, and we can put a super online, hopefully, in a few weeks. Exactly. We didn't want to disturb your hive for too long. We want your hive to be happy and, and not get mad and um, collapse for any reason. So I'm still supplementing them with uh, sugar water. What's the, the ratio? Uh, one to one. Right. <laughs> when do you do two to one? In the fall. Good job. So this is um, going to help supplement them, just help them get going a little better. There's lots of flowers out, and that's helping, but that sugar water is going to help too. Exactly. We don't have a ton of nectar around here uh, being in the suburbs. So we need to supplement, which is the same thing as nectar. They take that sugar water and they make the wax with it, and that's what they're going to help to build their uh, frame out with so they can have a lot more babies, and then the honey. Right. So hopefully this time I'll get a little better honey harvest. Exactly. <laughs> but you they, will. They seem to be good numbers. They're always out and about and hitting the flowers. Yeah, I... Our fingers are crossed. This is going to be our year, Kathy. I, I agree. This is going to be it. So in a minute here, I'm going to grab my sugar water bottle and switch it out. I keep several made up so that um, I can just grab them. And how, how fast are they going through it now? You know, about a jar every two, two and a half days. Okay. Hey, Kathy, where does a bee sit? I don't know, Karen. Where? On his behind! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Karen. That's a good one. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. See you next time. Bye-bye.